Hello everyone. So uh, today we'll go through how to make a REST API call using Postman and how to create a record in our Salesforce org using Postman tool. So yeah, we would use REST API and to use Postman, we first need to create a connected app in our Salesforce org like I created one. So uh, you can name it anything. I named it Postman and we will get the consumer key, the consumer secret. The callback URL should be this and you can choose the selected OAuth scopes for it and yeah that's all. Now we will go to our Postman app and uh, this would be the home page. So you need to create one new workspace. So I have already created one. So let's open that. So uh, like uh, after you open it, you would see an option of uh, create a new request and this page would open. So I already have it open. So let's start. And uh, now we, we can see there are params, authorization, headers tab here. So click on the authorization tab. And uh, first to make a REST API call, we need to authorize. So we will authorize using OR 2.0 protocol. So yeah, uh, let's fill in the details. For me, the details are already filled because uh, because of the cookies so yeah uh, let me tell you one by one the token name uh, can be anything of your choice the grant type should be authorization code the callback URL is the same as that in the connected app the auth URL is this uh, login.salesforce.com slash services slash over to slash authorize and uh, for the access token URL slash services slash or to slash token. So yeah, these are provided by the Salesforce. The client ID and the client secret would be that of your connected app. And yeah, let me first clear the cache. So the cookies has, has been cleared. Now let's uh, get a new access token. So yeah, and now it, it's redirecting me to enter my credentials. So yeah, I'll do that. And after successful login, I would get my access token so that I can make further request. So yeah, authentication has been completed successfully. So yeah, we will now be redirected to Postman. So yeah, use this token. So uh, we have now received our access token. So now the access token would be appended uh, in the headers. So you can see that. Now go to the body. Now let's uh, create and uh, record using REST API. So uh, in the body choose uh, the parameter as post as we are going to make a post request. Now, uh, we have to choose an URI. So this one is provided by Salesforce. Here you have to change the instance name. So the URI would be like uh, instance name.salesforce.com slash services slash data slash the API version slash s object slash account because I'm going to create an account. So I have chosen account. So yeah, let's uh, create one account. So this is the body. You can name it anything. So yeah, uh, as you know, uh, only name is the required field while creating an account. So I'm just going to give that parameter. Now uh, everything is done. Now send the request. So yeah, you can see the ID is successful and the record has been created successfully. Uh, let's just see in the in our org. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, the record has been created successfully in our org. 
So this is how we can create and record in our Salesforce org using Postman. So if you want to like update a record, you can use the patch uh, method, or if you want to get information, you can use the get method and do it necessary. Yeah. So that's all from my my side today. Thanks everyone.